Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my rarest drop series where I take your submissions as well as scour the internet for the rarest possible drops in old school RuneScape. Thank you once again for all of your submissions. Uh, over the last month or two we've collected a bunch of different images and I've picked what I think are the rarest ones of the bunch. Now of course to keep things interesting I'm trying to pull from a variety of different pieces of content. Uh, so don't be discouraged if your drop hasn't shown up yet. It could still show up in a future episode. If you guys do have a rare drop and you want a chance to have it featured, feel free to hop into my Discord server and leave it in the video submissions channel. I will always look through there before videos, so that's the best place to put it if you want a chance to be featured. As always, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, always appreciate a like on them. It really does help the video get out there and uh, recommend it to other people, so it helps me out a ton. Thanks again, guys, and let's get started. Alright, so starting us off at number 10, we have a player whose name kind of makes me feel like I'm saying something bad, but Rimkas420. Hopefully that's not some offensive internet slang I don't know yet. Uh, regardless though, they were just finishing up a task of Basilisks, and you can see in the corner they have 77 left to go. And they get really lucky and they manage to pull the Basilisk Jaw, which is a 1 to the 1000 drop rate. So a 16 mil drop, pretty happy about that one. They go for another kill, and on the very next kill they get another Basilisk Jaw which is another one of the 1,000, uh, which means the chance of this happening is literally one in a million, which is absolutely amazing, so a huge congratulations. So next up here, coming in at number 9, we have a player who is doing Winter Tot, and here's a drop I have not seen very often. So in the corner, you'll notice that they got two Tomes of Fire from a single Supply Crate, and you can see that they had three rolls at the Tome of Fire, uh, which makes this an incredibly unique drop. Once again, the Tome of Fire drops at a rate of 1 to 1,000, but it is incredibly uncommon to get two Uniques in a single Supply Crate. Definitely something you don't see that often. So next up here we have an incredibly lucky player by the name of Tor Up. They were of course doing some Nightmare and they were on Nightmare Kill 168. And I mean, look at this drop here, Zamorak Brews, 8 of them, and they're only on kill count 168. Really such a sick drop. I mean, not only do they lower your hit points, but they also lower your defense at the exact same time. No other potion does that. Okay, obviously we're talking about the two insanely valuable drops, the Harmonized Orb and the Inquisitor's Great Helm in the exact same kill, bringing us very close to a billion GP drop. I'm always so shocked by double nightmare drops. The items are so rare that I forget that you can theoretically hit both the orb table and the other items at the exact same time. And this is one of the most desirable drops from the nightmare or really anywhere else in the entire game. So obviously a huge congratulations. Okay, so next up here we have a player by the name of Hanzit who is doing some Dolo Bandos and they managed to get some incredible luck while doloing the boss. So in case people don't know what doloing is, essentially it's one player controlling two accounts. Uh, players often do it at the God Wars dungeon uh, because it can be quite lucrative and we can see why in this image here. So in one single Bandos kill, they managed to get two items, one from a minion and one from the boss itself. Hansit, which is most likely their main account, got Tacits from Gridora themselves, which is a 1 of the 381, uh, and within the same kill, their alt account got a Bandos Chestplate from the minion, uh, which drops at a rate of 1 of the 16,000, so in some ways they got two Bandos items from a single kill, depending on how you look at it, uh, which seems pretty damn lucky to me. So next up here we have a player who is uh, doing some Chambers of Zarek, and we have to have a quick look at this loot tracker here. Now in only 26 Chambers of Xerix, they managed to get a Twisted Bow, which is already so incredibly lucky. They get one of the best items in the entire game, but that's not it. They get a Kodai Wand, another incredibly useful item from raids and also another mega rare drop table. They also managed to hit the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, one of the most useful items from the Chambers of Xerix, and also an Ancestral Robotum. You really couldn't ask for better luck. The fact that they hit 4 purples in 26 chests is already incredibly lucky, but they hit 4 of the best possible ones you could get. And uh, no duds, I mean there's no arcanes, there's no bulwarks, although the bulwark arguably could be good now. Just an incredible log and really some incredible luck. And yeah, Chambers of Zarek would be incredibly fun if everyone got those kind of drops. Okay, so next up here we have an anonymous player who is starting an account on mobile. Uh, it looks like they literally just logged in from Totoro Island. They most likely went upstairs in the Lumbridge Castle, got 15 fire making, came downstairs and they were trying to get a bit of GP to probably start off their Ironman account. 
but all of a sudden, at level 3 thieving and only 200 experience, they manage to get the Rocky Pet from a man. The odds of getting a Rocky Pet from a man is 1 out of 250,000, so just insanely lucky. And they got it within their first dozen or so pickpockets. Actually, such an insane way to start off an Iron Man account and probably one of the lowest XP Rocky pets I've ever seen, so congrats to this person. It seems like your account might be blessed. So next up here, we are looking at Bandos once again, and this drop is completely insane, so they go ahead and kill Bandos, and no drop, they just get the Rune Longsword. But what appears to have happened is this account, cool as Mankey, goes and kills the minion, and they get Bandos Tacits, which we've just been over. It drops at the rate of 1 of the 16,000, roughly. But on top of that, they also got the Goblin Champion Scroll, which is a tertiary drop from all goblin creatures and drops at a rate of 1 in the 5,000, which is completely insane. The odds of getting this exact drop from a minion is actually around 1 in 80 million. And you can't actually get the Goblin Champion Scroll from Bandos, you have to get it from a minion, which means this player got two insanely rare drops at the exact same time. Uh, which I think this definitely makes it deserving of a top 4 finish. I think this literally is the rarest drop you could get in a single kill at Bandos. Uh, so coming in at the number 3 spot is a player by the name of Yu Mai, or Yu Mi, and they just have an insane succession of challenge mode raid drops. So starting off on their 1190th kill, they get a metamorphic dust drop, gotta be one of the rarest drops in the entire game. Now 5 raids after that, they get the Twisted Kit along with a Tebow split. So they split that 3 ways, so that's just a cool 300 mil or well, maybe not even anymore. Let's say 275 to be safe. But that is of course not it. 5 raids later and they get another Metamorphic Dust. Which we gotta keep in mind here, there's only a handful of players who have both the Metamorphic Dust and the pet. And this player somehow managed to get 2 of them within a dozen kills or so. But that's not it. Three kills later, and Yumi manages to pull a twist of both themselves on kill count 1203. So another giant split on that one. But that's not it. On the same day, just three raids later, they get another twisted bow in their name. Absolutely crazy. The last three drops were in the same day and within six raids. And just for good measure, around 60 raids later, they pull another Twisted Bow. Just some absolutely incredible luck. Just, uh, wow. Not much else you can say about that. So coming up next here, we have a player who is doing Herbivore. And they managed to hit probably one of the rarest things in the entire game. A back-to-back -back pet. This happens so infrequently that I've only ever seen it on a few different bosses. So for every herbivore you catch, you have a 1 in 6,500 chance of getting the herbivore pet. So in herbivore 5,634, they get the herbivore pet, so they continue on, no big deal. They go for another catch, and on 5,635, they get another herbivore pet. Which, just in case you were interested, the odds of getting a back-to-back -back 1 in 6,500 is 1 in 42.2 million. Which is so incredibly rare. Which I'm kind of looking still for a back-to-back -back God Wars pet, or really any PVM pet. But still, a giant congrats to this person, although I guess, well, they just have one pet. So finally here, coming into the number one spot has got to be one of the coolest images I've seen in quite a while. Now numerically, this is probably not going to be the rarest item on this list, but there's just so many cool things happening here. that I think it deserves the number one spot. So coming in at number one, we have a player by the name of Dialiotic. And if you look at their chat log here, there's just a lot going on. Uh, first appear, they are like two levels away from maxing, so congratulations just on that. But look at this chat log here. First, there's a Ring of Endurance, which they got in their 222nd Hallowed Sepulchre run, or 222nd Grand Coffin. So that's a 50 mil drop right there, pretty sweet. The next run they go through and open the chest, and they get the giant squirrel pet, so that's already back to back. And what I really think makes this image unique is on the next kill, 99 agilities. So just completing the trifecta of ultimate dopamine release, they just got everything done in three back to back runs. Just such an incredible story and image, so I think it deserves number one. So anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, as always. If you think you have a rare drop deserving of one of these videos, really encourage you to join my Discord and pop it in the video submissions channel. So thanks for watching, as always guys, and I will see you next time.
Now, before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thanks so much to Sejuani's Flail, The Hybrid, Guy Fox, Timothy Chen, Ocelot, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed at the Dragon Tier. You guys, it honestly means so much. You guys are willing to support me that much. Thank you. Also, a giant thank you to Base Titch, Mexos, NDM001, and YoYoSub89 for being subscribed at the Runite Tier. As always, if you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. Mainly, you'll be immortalized in all of my future videos, but you also get a custom role in my Discord server, as well as access to my video release schedule. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.